Hi, it's Patrick with D38. In this video, we're going to configure a base and rover operating over Emlet Caster. First, we either need to sign up or sign in with our Emlet account to caster.emlet.com. Once we're logged in, we can view our five free mount points, any receivers that are online, as well as the rest of the necessary credentials we'll need to input into our receivers. If your receivers aren't on the latest firmware, see our video on flashing the latest firmware linked in the description before continuing. We will need both our base and rover connected to the internet for this configuration, so I'm going to install a SIM card into my RS3. With the SIM installed, we'll need to navigate to the settings, then mobile data, and make sure that's toggled on. If you're using Android to connect to your base, you will need to connect over Wi-Fi to access these settings. If you see the reception bar appear in the top left, next to your receiver's battery indicator, we're in good shape. Now we'll navigate to Base Output and select NTRIP and the Edit button. Then input your address, port, password, and mount point provided on the Caster website for your mount point. If everything is correct up to this point, you will see your mount point appear online on the Caster site. Now we can connect to our rover. In this case, we're using an RX. We'll select Correction Input and edit the NTRIP credentials. You can create a new entry profile or edit an existing profile. Then just as we did with our base, we will input the credentials found on the caster site. The rover credentials will be found further down on the caster page. Just like our base, if we configured our rover correctly, you will see it appear as online on the caster site. We are all set and ready to start collecting our points. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.